lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I've set it up so they can't escape. Perfect. Yeah. See, see, as soon as I knew it, this is the sun power off yeah. every time. Grab the other net when you want it, mate. The net, the, the lead line is underneath where that probe is because I came in here and as you pull it round, it takes it out. So I'm not worried about catching fish there because underneath where that is, that's where the lead line's sitting. This is a lovely margin and I always like to leave that because if I drop the net under here now and it picks up a load of stuff, you're going to drag all that stuff all the way across. All right, yeah? yeah so you're always trying to push the fish into somewhere you can catch them and these margins are lovely and graded and shallow it's more as we get round into the slightly oh, deep, deeper margin I was electrification is fun don't get me wrong it's a fun thing to do but you really have got to look after the fish and understand how the kit works. There's a lot of ple people that have used the kit in the past, not understood how it works, <laughs> and come unstuck. So the second that fish is stunned, power's off, power's only on low, it's only on as lowest as you need, and it's 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 really important to understand because ultimately we're you know we're responsible for the people's stock here. It's right there, look, in there. Have a little look in there with your feet and have an understanding of how it works. Now you can read all about how it works, but ultimately, because every water is different, yep. yep. See that that's just barely stunned. Job done, that's it. You don't you don't nail it hard, you don't need to do any of that. And it's all about having hang on, stop the boat from moving where we haven't fished. And systematically and, and systematically and slowly working our way through it and that's what it's all about and yeah probably a lily basket and understand it. another reason why we avoided this was the net you see and it's really important like i say we're completely responsible for people's fish so we don't muck around with this stuff it is a good tool it's very useful for finding juveniles and electric fishing areas you can't really get a net in but at the same time it's like when I set it up in the margins, we'll set it up first on the low, on very, very, hardly any amps. And it all depends on the metal, metal in the water, how conductive it is. And then when you start off, coming around here all good in the bin? Yes, mate. Yeah, perking up lovely, yeah. So, and, and, and like I say, they, they should be barely stunned for a few seconds. So then the skill is getting them in the net quick. So you get them in the net quick, get them in the bin quick. And that's it, really. You don't muck around. You got how you got to be organised. You got to have everything. Mega organised. Very easy just to whack it up high. And in some lakes you'll go, you'll have unlimited power. You'll have all the all the amps you want going through it. And if you just go in, herring, herring, in, you know, we're trying to push fish down into that net. And sometimes you'll get tons of fish all in one area. And then when that happens, you don't go herring in. You just wait for them to come to you. I'll say, it's all about understanding the kit, knowing how to use it, knowing its limitations and being sensible. Helps having a really pucker generator, which I absolutely love. There's fry everywhere, which is great. Good recruitment, it's a good bit of water. And where I can walk, I always walk. How you feel fish casing with your feet, gives you more control, more stability. I can stop and start whenever I want. If, it, if it's windy and your boat's drifting, plus I can see what the bottom's like. You're always learning. So all the time I'm in here, I'm gauging what the silt's like. And the fish come to the probe. So you don't want, there you go, under the probe, ready? 
and you want the fish barely stunned. Well done, good stuff. See, hardly stunned. That'll be good, nice. That's okay. It's good, all right? Yeah, mate, coming around nice. In here, I'm running at about, only about two and a half amps more than enough in this particular pond. Like I say, you can write a book about it, you can write articles about it all you like. But ultimately, ready? Power off and stuff, that's it, that's the way, that's the way. And ultimately, all that goes out the window when you present it with a lake that doesn't agree with what your book said or what your article said, so you do it all by eye. You do everything. <laughs> you do, well done. Good. You do everything by eye and by feel. And it sounds old school, but it, it just is. To do it properly, you know. Because you have to take each lake as it comes. Oh, yeah, go on, Waste of time going out in open water. Because that's what the nets are for. But for doing this, it's good. Especially. Sometimes, you know, you'll land a net or if the net rips or if you get caught up on a load of snags and you don't catch anything. And then people say, and we only net it once, you know, we we do the best job we possibly can in the time, yep, in the, in the time we've got. Lovely little fish. Um, but yeah, that's not our problem. If the net rips and it goes really bad, especially when, if you're told that, yep, if you're told there's no, if you're told there's no snags and then there is, again, that's, other problems but the lakes like this you can just tell they keep it nice they keep it tidy they knew where the cages were it's cheapest chips like 25 quid a year to fish in here so it's a lovely community community pool like I, said, I did it years ago and uh, it's just nice nice way to start the week See, like now we're starting to see a few more fish, which is good because it shows that they've moved up here. But you now don't see a fish and go herring in. You just keep staying back, slowly staying back. The boys are swapping nets. Being all, yeah, nice lot of silvers now. Look, they've, they've gone up there and then turn around and come back, you see. Real nice mix of fish. Power's off 80% of the time, you see. It's always out. I just take it out of the water and it's off. And it's just a case of catching samples to show the club. Careful, careful. You're all right. It's all good. That's it, okay? Get them out. Nice roach there. Yeah, there is. Okay, slowly, slowly. Yeah, look. <laughs> We've chased all these down here. Careful. That's all right, just get a few. A carp there. That's common. You see what I mean, look. So all, all these fish down here, we've chased down here. Now the thing is, <laughs> is we don't go herring in. If you go herring in there now, you just stun them all and you can't catch them when you stun them all. So you just carefully wait back here and slowly take a few. Like I say, you've got to be very careful, very sensible, and it's working absolute treat. That's why I've, 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 earlier I, I cut the lead line under that. So, and if it gets ridiculous, then we'll just back out. That's, a, that's not a tape though. I don't know what it is in that marine. It's huge. There's a lot of fish down here. There is. It's worked a treat. Uh, just a few roach, yeah, just a few. Look at them in here, look. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Don't worry about all of them. Power's off. Got him. Another one there. This is not. That'll do. Don't worry about silvers now. We've got enough, okay? Yeah. Okay, just get your eyes down in case there's a cat. Ready? Yeah. All right? Yeah. yeah. Under the probe now, it's quite big. And don't worry if you can't get it, just yeah, I mean, so know. many silvers under there. Yeah, we've got all of them for now, yeah? Yeah, just looking for catfish in the carp if you can catch them, but don't worry too much. Ready, I'm gonna go yeah. on again. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, you get it. So many silvers. 
We're seeing about 10%. Everything else is hit a bit. Yeah. A bit more, ready? Yeah. We're going to have one going in, then we're going to stop. Oh my god, I know. Right, power is going off. Just get what you can, okay? Yeah, the car under the net there. So power's off. Steady as you go. <laughs> you just flip the back to the left. That's worked really well. Oh yeah, we'll probably under the net. Yeah. You're not worried yourself, are you? Can we take him out? And if you can get him, yeah. You can get out of here, <laughs> Power's off, we're all good. And look, that'll do it, we'll go back with these. So that worked really well. You can see that's exactly textbook if I wrote a textbook. <laughs> Basically, we've moved all those fish up to this channel, blocked it off, caught a nice sample. There's stacks of, of, of small silvers. Small silvers? Small silvers. Nah, you're all right, leave them now. They'll come round. Uh, and that's it. Got a rod out of the margin. And that is a really good example of how useful this kit can be. Turn the stop switch off. Great. So like I say, that channel there just walks all the way down here. And as you can see, apart from the fishing rod, lovely mix of fish, carp, roach, perch, a few bream, all absolutely fine. And that's what it's all about. They're in good condition. Last time I was here, I asked them to start feeding the fish, which they have. So now what we'll do, we'll go and show the club these spin full of fish, put them back on the outside of the net, and then we'll, uh, we can start putting nets in. Actually, we'll go put these back and we'll have a little buzz in here in case there's any cats we're looking for, but I haven't seen one yet. But yeah, that's a really good example of electrofishing.